Andy here. Imagine that you are looking at some type of growth on the oral tissue and you have no earthly idea as to what it is. And you, being the type of person that must know exactly what you are looking at, need a way to determine what it is. In this next section, we will take a brief look at things that can be used to help you figure out what something is. You will see that as a dental hygienist, you can use some of these things to help you figure out what you are looking at. Some of the other methods that can be used will have to be done by a dentist or even a pathologist. When trying to determine the diagnosis of a lesion, there are eight areas that can be used. We do not have to use all eight of these areas, but they are there if they are needed. The most common tool that is used when looking at a lesion is the clinical examination of the lesion. The clinical examination of a lesion will include things like what the lesion looks like, its color, shape, size, and texture. It can also include how the lesion feels when it is palpated or touched. In some situations, an x-ray may provide additional insight into what the lesion is. We don't want to or need to x-ray everything. If an x-ray will provide additional insight into what a diagnosis is, then an x-ray should be taken. Looking at a lesion is one thing, but talking with the patient and listening to what they are telling you can be a very powerful tool. Getting details on the lesion can help with arriving at a diagnosis. Details like, how long has that thing been there? What may have started it? Or whether any other family members have something similar can help. In some cases, sending a blood test or culture to a laboratory for evaluation can provide additional insight into the diagnosis of a lesion. The most accurate way to determine a diagnosis of a lesion is through a microscopic evaluation of the lesion. Removing the lesion or a piece of the lesion and then sending the specimen to the laboratory for evaluation will give you specifics as to what the lesion actually is. This is because everything has a specific appearance microscopically. Less frequently used, but still effective, the actual surgery that is performed when removing the lesion can provide the surgeon with additional insight. This surgical procedure will be used in conjunction with the microscopic diagnosis. Another way to help with determining a diagnosis of a lesion is through the use of some sort of therapy to see if the therapy removes the lesion. The last way that we can use to determine a diagnosis of a lesion is through something called a differential diagnosis. A differential diagnosis is when the practitioner comes up with a few lesions or conditions that he or she thinks that it could be. From here, the practitioner will compare the findings associated with each of these and narrow the list down to one lesion that is determined to be the actual lesion. This is when the final diagnosis has been reached. Well, we are done for the day and I'll see you in class.